it's Coach Ashley here, um, bringing you another at-home gymnastics class workout. So all you need today, I want you to go grab a pillow, and then I want you to grab your bear or any stuffed animal that you would like to use. Okay, and if you have a chair, that would work awesome as well. So pause this video if you need to go grab a pillow or a stuffed animal, and then we'll get started. Okay, we're gonna get started with the pillow. Okay, so I just want you to throw it up in the air, just kind of catch it, warm up our arms a little bit. Now can you throw it a little higher? A little bit higher, relax, good. Keep going. Now let it fall a little bit closer to the ground and then don't catch it till last minute. Don't let it touch the ground. Keep going, oh, almost, throw it up. Good, couple more, lift up, oh, it's kind of fun, okay, two more, throw it back up and grab it, up and grab it, good job, okay, now hold the pillow, I want you to do some side to side, side to side twists, awesome, we're turning the upper body, good, all right, back in the middle, now I want you to jump up and down, little bunny hops with our pillow, you want? Toss the pillow while you do it. Good job. Okay, stretch up the pillow all the way up above your head and bring the pillow all the way to the ground. I want you to pat the pillow. Probably can't see it in my video, but just pat the, pat the pillow. Good, pick it up, reach up, go up on your tippy toes, see how high you can go without touching the ceiling. And reach down to the ground and pat the pillow again. Try to have straight legs. Good. All right, I want you to put the pillow and I want you to put it on the ground. All right, so you're gonna sit on it. I'm gonna position this a little bit more to the ground. There we go. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and sit on your pillow. Bring your legs into a tuck. I want you to lift up those legs. Good, you can keep your hands on the ground here. Just lift them up and then tap them on the ground. Lift them up and tap them on the ground. Good, keep those knees bent. All right, now see if you can lift without your hands touching the ground. We're balancing and then tap the ground. Lift up, we're balancing. Good job, keep going. Okay, now this time I want you to lift up and balance. And then I want you to extend those legs out and bring them back in. Tap on the floor, lean back, extend those legs, and bring them back. Good, let's try it one more time. Bring it back, extend, and in. Good job. All right, you can get off of your pillow. And we're gonna bring our legs into a pike. So remember what pike looks like? Show you from the side. So our legs are both straight out and our toes are nice and pointed. And you go say, hi toes, and then say, bye toes, and now they're pointed. Say, hi toes again, bye toes, and I want you to reach for those toes, because we don't want them to go. Good, okay, grab your pillow again. I want you to have your pillow do some flips. So you're gonna flip, flip, and flip as far as you can get it, and then bring it back, lift, Flip and flip, I can't flip my arm anymore. And then flip it back, backward flips, all the way. Okay, do it one more time. Flip, flip, and flip. Good job. All right, now we're gonna go into our straddle. So bring both legs out. We're gonna grab that pillow again, okay? So I want you to reach up tall, the pillow in the air, and reach to one side and cover your foot. And reach up tall again. And reach to the other side. Cover that foot. It's there, no more. And reach up tall again. And drop the pillow. But then I want you to see how many times can you hit on the pillow. Keep going. Can you make a big noise? Like some thunder. Keep going. Good. All right, grab that pillow again. We're gonna go back to those flips. Flippity, flip to the end, and backward, 
flip to the center, other side, flip, 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 and back, flip, flip. Good job. And to the middle, of course, flip, and flip. That's all I can do. And pat that pillow. Can you do it with both hands at the same time? We're drummers. Good. And bring it in. Awesome job, guys. Okay, guys, grab your stuffed animal and we're gonna use them in our next segment. Okay, so put your bear, set it nice and pretty on the floor. I want you to bring your feet back and we're gonna go into a push-up body position. Okay, so get into this position. If you need to start off on your knees to get the feel, so our arms are nice and straight, then I want you to try to lift up those knees. Good job. Okay, let me go a little bit closer to our bear. All right, I'm gonna pick up the bear, and I'm gonna move it to the other side. And then I'm gonna pick up the bear again, and move it back. I'm gonna show you a different view. So here's the front view. So I'm gonna pick up the bear, and move it over. Pick up the bear again, and move it over. How many times can you do that? In a row, without coming onto your knees. Woo, good job guys, keep going, keep going. The bear likes to travel. One more. Woo, good job. All right, shake it out. Okay, next one. You grab your bear, go ahead and sit on that chair, and then you're gonna put your bear right on your lap, and then you put your hands on the, on the chair. Make sure our fingertips are dangling, and then walk out, and we're gonna dip down, bend our elbows, and come on up. Dip down, and come on up, okay? These are called tricep dips but they're more fun when you have a friend with you. Down and up. Good job, make sure we're bending those elbows and pushing straight up. Down and up. Build strong arms. It's great for strong gymnasts. Let's do three more together. Drop down and push up. Come on, down and up. One more, push down and push up. Good job, shake out those arms. All right, next one, we're gonna put our bear on the ground. All right, with both feet, we're gonna jump to one side of the bear and jump behind. And then jump to the other side and jump behind. Good job, let's do it again. Jump to the side, but now jump in front. Cover them up, now jump back to where you were and then jump behind them again. Good, now other side, jump to the side, then to the front, come on, hide, and back, there he is and come on back. Good job. Okay, this time, I want you to lift your leg up. You can see from the side, our knee goes to our, or our foot comes to our knee in a passe hold. Or if you need to, you can just balance it out here. But I want you to try to bounce up and down with one leg. Can you do that? Good job. Okay, now, if you need to balance, you can regroup. Bounce to the side on one leg and bounce behind him. Now bounce to the other side and bounce behind them. Good job. All right, shake that leg out. Other leg, okay? Back up into that passe. Now we're gonna jump to the side with one leg and jump behind. Good, jump to the other side and behind. Good, jump up and down a little bit if you can. Awesome. Okay, bring both feet down. This time, I want you to jump over the bear and behind the bear. Good, jump over and behind. Good job. Now if you have a really big stuffed animal, that might be kind of tricky. Jump over and behind, okay? Now go side to side. Jump over sideways and back. Good, and back, jump over and to the other side. Awesome job. All right, go ahead and reach down for your bear, straight leg. Pick him on up and tell him what a great job you did. <laughs> okay, next, put your bear on the ground and then we're gonna jump over the bear with our hands on the ground. So you're gonna put your hands on the ground and then the bear is gonna kinda iffy in between you and you're gonna come over to one side. You go up onto your feet. Now I want you to jump over the bear and back. Jump over, jump over and back. 
Good job. How high can you get your legs? Can you kick them up really high? Even if you can kick them down low, that's okay. Okay, let's do a couple more. Put those hands back on the ground. Jump side to side. Good. Kind of fun though. So you can try that with different size animals. So if you wanted to get a big animal or put the pillow down and put your stuffed animal there, that will help get you to jump a little bit higher next time, okay? That is a great exercise to do to build up our shoulders and become stronger at cartwheels. If you remember in classes, we do a lot where we put our hands on the panel mat and then jump dot to dot or we jump over something and that is great practice for working on those cartwheels. Okay, we're gonna end our workout with a little reminder on body positions. So, can you guys show me what a tuck position is? Remember? So we can bring our legs together and our knees are bent, side view like this, and we can put our little teddy bear right on top of our knees. Okay, what about a pike? We already did that earlier in the class. We're gonna bring our legs out super straight, toes pointed, and then we're gonna walk our bear all the way down to our toes. Okay, next one, straddle. Another one we've already done. Bring our legs apart, oh, it's each side, straight legs, grab that bear, tap to one side, tap to the other side, and lift the bear above you, and bring him in the middle here. He's just having a good old time in our class today. All right, and another one, remember seal? So, where we go on to our stomachs on the ground, Mr. Bear can be right here, and we're gonna push up tall, straight arms, and you can see legs are straight in the back and they're together and you can, for fun you can make what the seals the seals make ar, ar, ar. <laughs> all right next one kitty cat stretch okay so we put our arms straight out our booties in the air always stretch try to put your chest to the ground and come on up all right my advanced kids will know what this is, the hollow body position. So we're gonna lay on our, on our back. You're gonna lift up your body, or lift up your legs, and lift up your shoulders. And we can't fit anything underneath our stomach. We're nice and tight. And if you can do a little rolling, that's great too. Okay, hollow body. All right, and the other one is arch body. So you're gonna go up onto your stomach, this time you're gonna hold on to your bear, straight arms, and lift up and come right back down. Try it again. This is arch body, lift up I'm like a superman. In this case, it's super bear. One more time, lift up and come on down. Good job. All right. Hope you guys had a great time in class today. Feel free to do this workout again and um, just challenge your body in new ways. And we cannot wait until you are back at the Gymnastics Center. All right, see you guys next time.